What is going on, you two people? Northeast Ohio Cards and Comics. Here for a little rumor mill action. I usually try not to do too much in the straight rumor department when it comes to newsy update videos, but I trust the source on this one, so we'll see what happens. Um, Sunday on Instagram, Nat Turner, CEO of Collector's Universe, posted this picture of a Star Wars graded wax pack bundle. Nothing to see here, nothing crazy. In the comments, someone asked him, when will the website get updated about the backlog? Nat Turner replied, regular opens in two weeks. So, and right to the source, uh, Nat Turner saying regular service will be open in two weeks. Now, this does not come as that big of a surprise to me. This would put us right after Thanksgiving, probably a December 1st update or somewhere in that time range. He said on multiple occasions, including on Card Talk Pod just recently, that regular would be back this year. Well, we're in mid-November now. There's not a lot of this year left. Uh, and he has mentioned previous to that that it would be coming back in Q4. So I am not surprised by this. Now, there are other rumors circulating. Uh, people in the SCI Discord were talking about this, uh, and I've seen this a couple other places, uh, that it would come back at $100 a card, which, once again, is not surprising. I think that's what myself personally was speculating on is, is that they bring it back at a hundred bucks a card, see how it goes. Uh, and if they can maintain at that level, I think it eventually drops to 75 after a few months. I think it'll just kind of be like, let's see, see where we sit here. The other rumor is about, I'm expecting, I'm thinking, and once again, there's been discourse on this on the SCI discord. Uh, and I've also seen this a couple other places. Um, is a one to two month turnaround time. And there are rumors of a potential cap. Uh, once again, spoken about on the SCI Discord. Uh, and uh, I've seen it a few other places as well in the old social media verse. So it looks like, you know, I'll wait for the official announcement for the official, you know, breaking news video or whatever. And I'm not going to do a bunch of deep dive on what cards make sense to grade at PSA and all this shenanigans. But, but, uh, it sure looks like and sounds like regular service at around a hundred bucks a card is coming back in about two weeks. So we'll just go ahead and call it December 1st. Cause that's basically two weeks from now. Um, so, you know, this is going to change the math again. You know, every time they open up a new grading tier, if you could flip a card around in a PSA holder at 100 bucks a card uh, in, let's say, a 60-day time period, give or take, that's going to change the math equation on what cards make sense to go to which places. And every time PSA gets cheaper, uh, to me, it puts more pressure on the other companies. You know, SGC is still sitting at about 30 bucks a card. Uh, their turnaround times have gotten a little bit longer. Uh, there's some rumors going around uh, about why they've gotten longer, not necessarily related to um, too many orders, but there's some rumors circulating about um, just some stuff that has potentially slowed them down just a little bit. And that's the reason why turnaround times have gotten a little longer lately. So, you know, we'll see what happens with that. But, you know, now, uh, you know, SGC at 30 with, uh, and they're sitting right now at, I think a little like a month, month and a half turnaround time. You know, SGC at 30 versus PSA at 100. You know, that math equation starts getting more narrow and more narrow every time one, um, you know, every time they drop a price on this stuff, it makes HGA less appealing. It makes CSG less appealing. Every time PSA lowers a price tier and has a new option available. And if, if they can stick to a two-month turnaround time, that's pretty good. There are rumors that there will be a cap. Like I said, uh, I don't know what the cap will be and how often, you know, you'll be able to reset your cap or whatever. But that's also speculation as well. 
So we'll see what happens. You know, once we get the official news update and all that stuff, uh, we will see. But I think it would be very good for the current marketplace to bring back grade to flip for profit. That has basically been gone from a PSA standpoint, from the big boy standpoint, PSA, BGS, for a while now. You've been able to do it with SGC, but it's a lot trickier. A lot of cards still don't make sense for that level. Uh, at $100 a card, more cards are going to make sense to go to PSA. PSA is more liquid. You know, all the stuff that we normally talk about with PSA. Market definitely still wants PSA. They still pay a premium for PSA. So at a lower price point, it, it's, you know, it opens some things up. And I think we desperately need that right now to give the, give the market a little shot in the arm uh, of people you know, looking to get raw stuff potentially to grade as we are getting new product coming out. Uh, speaking of which, Panini, I'm going to go on a little side tangent here. Can we please get some NBA product with the new rookie class in it? For the love of all that is holy, I want Eblin, Evan Mobley cards. Whew, come on, guys. They still have a lot of last year's class product to go. And boy... Is it annoying? Uh, and that rant. But yeah, I mean, it's going to make more sense to start looking at, you know, young rookies and silvers or whatever uh, and send that stuff off the PSA if you're confident in your eyeball to be able to get PSA 9s, PSA 10s uh, and flip that stuff for a decent profit. And that, you know, that's what we need right now is, is a nice little way to make profit again. Uh, and, you know, get, buying raw, sending into grade is what a lot of people's bankrolls were built on. We just have not been able to do that for months now. So they open this back up and then we'll see. I have a feeling this won't be for group subbers. It'll probably just be for individual submission levels. Uh, and like I said, we'll see how long they stick at the $100 level or if it immediately goes back, you know, how quickly they, I think they eventually want to get to 75 on that. Uh, they did the same thing when they rolled Express out uh, and I believe 200 and then ended up dropping it to 150. So, you know, you're going to have Super Express out there for your big boy cards. You're going to have Express out there for your medium end stuff to get it back in a couple weeks. Uh, probably even faster now. Things that were going Express will now move to regular. So Express is probably going to be pretty fast at 150 a card if you have something that you need to turn quick. Uh, and then regular service at 100 bucks a card starts making things interesting again. Um, you know, I don't t currently really have anything raw to be sent in for grading. I have some Marvel stuff. I'd have to check comps. I don't know that it makes sense sending in at least the Marvel stuff that I have left. I don't have top tier characters or anything like that, uh, of like 90 Marvel universe laying around. But if I pulled PSA tens, would it be worth the hundred bucks a card? I don't know. I'd have to, I'd have to sit down and do the math on it. Like I always say, so but the you know the end result's the same. You're still gonna sit down. You're gonna run. The, you're gonna run the math. You're gonna look at the card. What are you What are you into the card for? What does it cost to grade? What is it selling a ten? What is it selling a nine? Is it worth it? Can you break even on the nine uh, to have the shot for the profit on the ten? And how good your eye is as well, obviously. Plus, little factor in a little bit of risk. You know, what, you know what is gonna happen in the next two months? Could it drastically shift one way or the other? Uh, like really, ideally, if they rolled this out next week or in two weeks, it would be the perfect time to send baseball in. Uh, you send baseball in December 1st. Let's say they have it for two months. Your tops chrome refractors start coming back the end of January. Just in that February, perfect time window for baseball when baseball's heating up, assuming no labor problems. Um, so it would be a very interesting time to send like baseball raw into grade. And that's something you have to factor in as well. Where are we at in the calendar? What is the turnaround time? When these cards come back into your possession, is it going to be a good time to attempt to move that card? You know, if you're sending in uh, football, for example, you're going to be cutting it close on whether it's back in time for the Super Bowl or like late in the NFL playoffs. And if your guy's already eliminated, do you really want to be selling a guy right then, you know, two weeks after they got bounced from the playoffs or didn't even make the playoffs? So uh, we'll see. Once again, I'm I'm putting this in rumor territory, not it's happening territory 
But like I said, typically I hear stuff all the time. People DM me stuff, what they're hearing, what they're seeing. I don't usually run with it. Um, anyone that's watched the channel for a while knows I don't usually post rumor stuff very often. But uh, once again, when it's literally the CEO of Collector's Universe uh, putting it out there, then I take that a little bit different story. And it does line up with what he's been saying in regards to getting regular back open again. So thoughts and comments down below. Are you sitting on a pile of stuff to send the PSA when this opens up? Does this price point change your thinking? Uh, you know, did you have cards that you were considering sending to SGC or somewhere else that now at $100 a card for PSA, this will swing you in that direction? I am curious for those thoughts and comments down below. So please leave them and smash the like button while you're down there. Catch you guys and girls on the next one. Peace.